What's up guys and welcome to the Battlefield 4 Top 5 Weapon Series. In this episode I'm going to be listing my top 5 assault rifles, the bread and butter of the assault class and arguably some of the best weapons in the game. Let's get to it then. Coming in at number 5 is the M16A4 or as I like to call it, the Burst Fire Beast. Following the recent buff for this weapon, it's actually a viable and versatile choice on the battlefield now, especially for defensive players. Whilst it's no Natalie Portman at close range, this thing absolutely dominates at medium and long distances. Get yourself behind a nice bit of cover, stand still, learn the rhythm of the burst and you'll be dropping fools at range in no time. The recoil on the M16A4 is almost completely vertical but with a small kick to the right, so it's incredibly easy to control. Just drag down a tiny bit with each burst and you'll have three very accurate shots on target in quick succession. One of the major advantages of the M16A4 is its 800 RPM rate of fire and blazing fast reload. It has the quickest tactical and empty reload of all the assault rifles clocking in at 1.8 seconds and 2.3 seconds respectively, meaning that you can put an insane amount of lead down range in a short period of time. In terms of attachments I'd recommend laser sight, flash hider and angle grip. The optic of course is your preference, I like using the holographic or PKA for maps with longer range engagements, but my go to on this weapon is the Reflex RDS. If you've never tried this weapon before because it's burst fire only, don't be fooled, give it a shot, I think you'll be very surprised at how good it is. At number 4 we've got some precision German engineering in the form of the M416. In Battlefield 4 this weapon is a jack of all trades and a master of none. With a rate of fire of 750 RPM, super fast tactical reload of 1.85 seconds and practically non-existent recoil, it's a very easy weapon to pick up and dominate with. The M416 is most effective at short to medium range and there's not many other assault rivals that can take you out in a 1v1 at those sort of distances. I personally prefer a run and gun playstyle when I'm using the M416, be aggressive and flank your enemy as much as possible. You can hose people down with this weapon if you get your epic back rage on. Remember to make the most of the tactical reload too, it's one of the biggest advantages you have, so when you've won a firefight, take cover and reload before you run dry or you might be caught with your pants down. The one area I feel like the M416 416 is weak is in long range engagements when your opponents are behind cover or in a head glitch position. If you need to engage at long distance, tap fire your weapon and aim for the head or you'll be pissing in the wind. Flanking and getting closer to your enemy would be a much better option whilst using this gun. In terms of attachments, I love using the Cobra Optic, Laser Sight, Ergo Grip and Suppressor. This suits my run and gun gameplay style perfectly and keeps me off the minimap whilst I'm firing. Running an angle grip only on this weapon is also a great option and it helps to control recoil if you're not great at that. Overall the M416 deserves its place in the top 5 assault rifles, it looks cool, it's fun and it's one of the most versatile weapons in the game. Blazing in at number 3 is the AEK971 and this thing spits out lead faster than an old fashioned pencil factory. It's a hot little metal dispensing machine and in close range gunfights you can absolutely chew through several people in a matter of seconds. They just won't know what hit them. The AEK has a 900 RPM rate of fire only beaten in the assault class by the FAMAS at 1000. But the big advantages that AEK has over the FAMAS is that it can hold a 30 round magazine, meaning that you can kill that one extra guy before you've got to reload, and it's also got significantly less left and right recoil. Whilst this weapon can be very daunting to use at first because of how much vertical recoil it has and a massive first shot multiplier, once you learn how to control it and master that micro burst, you'll be laughing all the way to the top of the scoreboard. I'd never recommend using this gun on bigger maps, if you want to give the AEK a shot I'd stick to close range infantry centric levels and game modes where you'll see it shine the most. Pick your firefights and force your enemy to get close to you. You can even afford to be more aggressive and gung ho when using this thing because of how fast it fires. After a bit of practice you'll find that you can beat most M416 and Ace 23 users in close range combat even if they're expecting you. Be brave and you'll come out on top. If you're forced to fire at longer ranges than 10 to 15 meters, you absolutely have to burst fire this weapon. Tap firing and bursts of 5 or 6 bullets work best for me. Any more than that and you'll start to become wildly inaccurate. Like I said, with a bit of practice you can master this gun and go to town with it. Just make sure you're always using the tactical reload. If you run out of bullets completely, you're going to be stuck with a 3.6 second reload which is painfully slow, giving the enemy time to push you or just to get away. As far as attachments go, using the angle grip, flash hider and laser is my favourite option for this weapon as it helps to bring down that big first shot multiplier. 
If you don't like this and you're still having trouble controlling the weapon and fully automatic fire, the stubby and muzzle combo will improve your recoil but make you less accurate with this weapon. Try both of these setups out and see which you prefer. With a bit of patience, the AK will become your new best friend. Just missing out on the top spot, the silver medal goes to the Ace 23. In my opinion, the second best assault rifle in the game, but only just. And it mainly comes down to your playstyle. The Ace 23 is the weapon you love to use, but hate to get killed by. It is without doubt the most versatile all around weapon in the game in my opinion, and it will turn you into a bloodthirsty monster. Once you've used it, there's no going back. Kind of weird to say this, but what this gun does best is that it's not bad at anything, if that makes sense. It has a rate of fire of 770, not as good as the AK, but slightly better than the M416. A maximum distance of 930 meters, pretty good. A tactical reload of 2.1 seconds, that's good. A first shot recoil multiplier of 2, and only a 0.1 spread increase per shot. In layman's terms, that all adds to an accurate, fast firing assault rifle with low recoil that's super easy to control. What's not to like here? You can use this weapon in pretty much any circumstance. Close range, you're likely to beat almost every assault rifle bar the AEK and the FAMAS. Medium range, you're looking pretty good. Even at longer ranges, tap firing this weapon is super effective. It's just way more reliable at all ranges than any other weapon in my opinion. The recoil is very easy to control, even at medium range on moving targets you can go full auto and still get kills. Go on a server, shoot full auto at a wall and look at the bullet spread. It's almost directly upwards with a slight pull to the right. Countering this couldn't be simpler. When you're bursting or holding the trigger, just pull down a tiny little bit and you'll get extremely accurate automatic fire. As for optics, I love using the Coyote RDS with this gun. It gives you a clear open sight and the red dot is great for tapping on people's faces at longer ranges. My favourite attachment setup by far on this weapon and the one that I always use is the ergo and muzzle combo. It turns the Ace 23 into a full auto laser cannon, throw an actual laser sight on there too and the hip fire is great even when you're on the move. Go on a domination server, try the Ace 23 out for 20 minutes and you'll fall in love. And so, we reach the top spot, number one, the big dog, the SCAR range. My personal favourite assault rifle in Battlefield 4. Now the SCAR is a very special beast, it deals a maximum damage of 34 and a minimum of 25. All of the other assault rifles in the game only put out 25 max and 18 minimum. That's a pretty big advantage to have. And though it's only got a 20 round magazine and a rate of fire of 620 RPM, you can do some serious work with this bad boy at medium to long ranges. The main reason for this is the incredibly low first shot recoil multiplier of 1.6 and balanced recoil model. Let's take a look at it. A pull of 0.5 upwards, 0.2 left and 0.2 right. It's consistent and it's almost a straight line upwards. Perfect. And this means that getting two or three accurate follow-up shots after your first bullet is a piece of cake. Is there someone head glitching? No problem, dunk them with a quick burst. Someone running away from you at medium range, boom, he's dead. Someone extremely far away from you and you can only see a Dorito, not a problem for the Scar H, you can make it happen. This is where the weapon excels, I love having that extra damage, it nets you kills that you just can't get with other weapons most of the time. And if you play passive, behind cover, take out your targets and then move, you're just going to crush the opposition. Using the Scar H rewards a careful and methodical playstyle, stand still, aim carefully and then shoot. Just be very careful in close range situations because weapons like the Ace 23 and the AEK can beat you there. And what about that 20 round magazine? Not a big problem if you ask me, just use your head and plan your reloads. In actual fact the SCAR H is the third fastest reloading assault rifle too, only beaten by the M16A4 and the M416. Sounds pretty good doesn't it? My go to setup and personal recommendation for this weapon is reflex RDS, laser sight, flash hider and angle grip to reduce that first shot penalty even more. Just make sure that you're standing still when you fire the weapon and you'll rack up the kills. Also you'll find that even in close range gunfights the hip fire with the laser sight isn't terrible and the extra damage that you get with the SCAR H packs a serious punch. If you're a player that prefers to move around a bit more and get stuck in then ergo and muzzle works pretty well on this weapon too. And that's all for today folks, leave a rating and a comment down below, let me know what you thought of the video, let me know what your favourite assault rifles are in Battlefield 4. Subscribe for more top 5 weapon series and remember to check out G2A dot com slash r slash jackfrags for all of the latest games at cheap prices thanks for watching guys i'll see you in the next one